Okay, good afternoon and welcome to this one of the first tutorials for the Vancouver Island International Education Department. Um, today we're going to be looking at how to do library research um, through VIU's website. So if you start out, you can see that we're starting on VIU's website and we're just going to go directly to the library link up here at the top and we're going to click on that. So once you get through to this portal here, this is the page where you can do your, your search for whatever topic you're doing research on. So let's imagine that I'm writing a term paper on tuna, tuna fish. So you click in your keyword and begin your search. Sometimes takes a second. And especially if you've selected something very broad, like just putting in one word, one keyword, like tuna, um, it might take a bit longer. And you can see here we've come up with 300, just over 300,000 different results. So what I want to talk about specifically today is how you can use filters on the left-hand side of uh, the web page here in order to narrow down your search a little bit. So whenever you're doing research, it's a really good idea to utilize uh, scholarly and peer-reviewed um, sources. So that's the first button I'm going to click. Just click on that right there and this will shrink the search significantly. Yeah, so we're down to 70,000 just by doing that. Um, and also just based on my experience um, doing research and knowing what my professors wanted when I did my undergrad and my master's degree, um, I also select journal article because journal articles uh, tend to be more current um, and also it, you know that the, the process of uh, publishing is going to mean that there's quite rigorous um, scholastic methods and methodologies involved in preparing that source. So this is one of the best types of sources to utilize. So then if we come down here, you can see that even you can select um, kind of a topic area. So I'm going to go with biology. And again, this is going to further shrink the search parameters. Next, I'm going to select kind of a time frame. And the rule of thumb is you would, it's best to have sources that are within the last five years. So I'm going to shift. Both fields. And you can even go into the area of language if you want to. You can change the language as well, although of course we're probably going to be searching in English unless you're doing a uh, specialized language program. So we'll just close that one down there. So what you can see now is that based on all of these different filters that we've changed on the, the left hand side of our bar here, um, we've actually been able to shrink down to just 1,700. You remember we had over 300,000 sources when we began. And so then the next, uh, the next thing that you should do is you should start uh, just scanning through the titles to see if the, the sources that have been collected are, are um, meaningful for what you're trying to, your research question. And so if, if I was actually looking at doing a report on how tuna are endangered um, or which tuna species are endangered, I would, I would want to take that into consideration. So things like here we have a, an article on the sexual maturity of Atlantic bluefin tuna. That might have some interesting information in it. So I'm going to go here to this file folder box and click that and it'll save it up here in my saved items. A plan to save the bluefin is from a journal article from the article or the magazine Science which is a fairly good source. So I'm going to add that. And I'm just looking carefully This might be useful for background reading, talking about the muscular system. And so you can see here that I've gone to my folder and these are the three different articles that I've selected that might be useful as kind of an initial read. And 
what you can do here is if you come to this box, you can see it's asking you to choose a type of citation. So if you click on APA or MLA Chicago, depending on what you need for the sake of argument, let's say that I'm doing this in a science class, I'm writing a report for a science class, so I choose APA. When you click on that, it's actually going to change your information into an APA format for your referencing list. Now, one statement of um, one caveat or one possible um, risk is that when you do do this, you need you still need to go back and double check the information and make sure that it is in the form you want it to be in. You can see the links here that'll take us to the direct articles. And then from here, you can even export it to Reference Works or e Easy Bibliography. These are also different programs that'll help you to format the data into, into um, uh, the correct type of citation list. So then we go to email and you're going to put your email account in here and you can very quickly say um, sources for research paper and then you send. So that's the kind of initial um, way that we start our search. Now you can also refine this if you want it, if we knew that we were looking at, um, you know, the we're trying to track the patterns of tuna as they move through the ocean, you could change your search, or as I mentioned before, um, I'm maybe looking at how tuna are endangered. So you could even add another word and then start the search process again. Now when you do do that, uh, you can notice that my filters have stayed the same. One more filter that I should mention is useful to click is this full text online, which basically means it's kind of going to guarantee you that the information you find or the source you find, you will be able to get the full text um, online. Because if you don't click that button, sometimes you will find a great source, but it'll take you to the database or to a PDF or, or just to an abstract even, or to like Google Books and you won't be able to access the entire document. So clicking this is very important because it'll make sure that you can actually access the source online. So utilizing those different strategies, you can use the VIU um, library website portal to help you start your, your search process when you're doing research for papers, reports, essays, things like that. Hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, I'm Matthew Finlayson, a member of the English language support team in international education for VIU. Thanks for watching.